summer while students and faculty were enjoying their time off, General Manager of Sodexo Michael Newmark and Operations Manager Rolf Dahlstrom worked hard to ensure students would be completely satisfied with their dining options come September. Some of the most exciting changes include Fromac, Mindful Mac, and Zest change to Zebby and now Zyme. Today, we'll be going around with Michael and Ross, and they will be showing us all the new changes on campus. Stay tuned. Now it's time to meet the most important people behind Merrimack Dining. First, General Manager Michael Newmark. Hello, I'm Michael Newmark, Director of Dining Services with Sodexo Operations. I've been at Merrimack College for two years as general manager and I truly love my job and love serving the students in the Merrimack community. I want to introduce to my right Ross Dahlstrom, Director of Operations with Sodexo Operations. My name is Ross Dahlstrom. I'm the Operations Director here at Merrimack College. I'm in charge of all food and I'd like to introduce you to my executive chef, Bradley Labar. Hi, I'm Bradley Labar, the executive chef at uh, Merrimack College for Sodexo Dining Services. Hi, I'm Carrie Cameron. I'm the registered dietitian for Merrimack Dining. Hi, I'm Megan Vanasco. I'm the res overseas Sparkies in the Warriors Den. Cubbies were installed yesterday to promote safety in the calf. Take a look to my left. Students are able to put their backpacks, purses, cell phones, anything that they want to keep safe in the calf and make sure that nobody touches them. Chef Bradley is going to tell us about one of the newest stations here in Sparky's called Hail Caesar. <laughs> oh no. So um, based on uh, student feedback, we just kind of randomly walk around and talk to a bunch of students and say, you know, so what are you looking for? What do you like? What do you, you know. So based on that, we came up with a Hail Caesar station for a colorful term. So every day, lunch and dinner, we offer uh, three types of, ch of Caesar salads, also Caesar salad wraps, and um, it's taken off like crazy. It's How have the students reacted to it? Very, uh, yeah, very good. It's one of our busiest stations. It's amazing. When did this come to be? Is it this week, last week? Well, we officially started about a week ago, but we've had sort of a soft rollout for well, a few days before that, so about a week and a half, I suppose. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. So I just wanted the students to be aware that we have pasta made to order every day, uh, lunch and dinner. So this is Simple Servings. It's our hot allergen free station. Um, it, there's a hot protein, starch and vegetable every day for lunch and dinner. Um, it's free of milk, eggs, soy, wheat, gluten, shellfish, peanuts and tree nuts. Um, so students who have food allergies or special dietary needs can feel safe eating here. Um, we made it a standalone station this year to um, keep it away from other food to further prevent cross-contamination. Um, and it's open to all students. It's a good healthy option too because the food's plain and simple and still really good. So this is our MyZone area. It is a gluten, peanut, and tree nut free area open for students who have peanut allergies, gluten intolerance, or celiac disease. Students are welcome to come in here and prepare their own food safely away from everything else. We have gluten-free bread, pasta, um, soy nut butter, lactose-free milk. We have some Amy's frozen meals for students. Um, so this area is available to them to come in. And any other students who have special dietary needs or dietary options, are always in, I always encourage them to contact me. And I, I work closely one-on-one -on -one with them to make sure they have food to eat. They hold town hall meetings one per month. I had one in September and had great feedback and we were able to put in a lot of new changes based on the student feedback. And my next dinner and discussion, which is six o'clock in the Mac Club, I invite all students to uh, join me and I'll take their feedback and look forward to uh, hosting another great event. Fromac is our most recent concept. It's a frozen yogurt with toppings, very similar to ones you may have seen around town. Um, this was brought about through customer feedback and uh, suggestions from our students to uh, add a new concept over here for frozen yogurt. Come by and try one. It's uh, very delicious. So behind me is the Warrior's Den. We have a lot of great new additions to the menu. We actually have the single, double, triple burgers. We also have chicken wings, uh, any sauce, uh, different variety of buffalo sauces for you and we also have homemade ribs. So one of the newest additions to the retail locations, we have a great new app. It's called the QBot app. 
It's actually a rewards program. You just download a phone, put your location, and you're able to receive uh, promotional items for free as you earn points. Um, and right off the bat, you get a free item. I, the chicken wrap is the very first one for the den. One other addition that we do have is the gluten-free snack shelf. It uh, hosts only gluten-free snacks. And so we see a variety of changes. We add stuff in and we try to get the best sellers. For those of you who didn't know, dining options aren't just limited to the Sackowitch Center. Right behind me in McQuaid, there's dining options available. We're going to go inside and show you Zyme, a healthier option for students. Recently rebranded, we now have Zyme here at the library with a fresh new look and feel and a new, uh, lot of new options and items we've added. We're excited to uh, have a great semester here at Zyme. I want to introduce the manager of Zyme, Julio Perez, which will talk to you about the uh, concept a little bit more. Hi, like Michael said, my name is Julio Perez. Uh, here at Zyme, we're offering a new smoothie concept, uh, which features uh, mango smoothies, mixed berry smoothie, peach smoothie, and banana smoothie. Uh, it's going well so far, and you can also get any combination. If you'd like to mix, get a mixed berry banana smoothie, you can. If you'd like to get a mango peach smoothie, you can. All this is available at uh, Zyme now. We have strolled over to the campus bookstore, and I'm here with the manager of the bookstore, Megan, and she's going to tell us a little bit about the merchandise and why students stroll over to the bookstore. Hi, Megan. Hi, so I'm the manager of the bookstore. We welcome all the students, encourage them to come to the bookstore. We sell lots of different types of merchandise, lots of brands like Under Armour, Nike, Hurley, Jansport, and V Sport. We also sell um, lots of different convenience items as well, soda, Kleenex, anything that you would need that you would not want to go off campus to get. So we are here, our hours are convenient. So if you have any questions or concerns, uh, feel free to address them to myself. Um, the bookstore hours are Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and Sundays 10 to 4. When we do hockey games or other type of sporting events, the bookstore hours are extended for your convenience. Thank you. Thank you. Perfect. New to campus as of last year, Merrimack now welcomes Dunkin' Donuts, located conveniently next to the bookstore. Here we are at Mindful Mac. This is a concept which is very similar to the Sparky's Express located near the den. We are here at the Mac Center um, trying to promote some nutritious meals on the go for athletes uh, Monday through Thursday um, from 11.30 till 2 p.m. Uh, stop by, uh, cash, credit, Mac points, and bucks are accepted, so please come by, grab a meal. Thank you for joining me and journeying across campus to see just how many options Sodexo provides for our students and faculty at Merrimack College. Remember, athletes, if you're in a rush right after practice to get to class, stop by Mindful Mac. Grab a quick bite to eat and you are able to use your Mac card to swipe in for a meal for that. Go check out FroMac if you'd like a tasty treat and with this colder weather you don't feel like journeying off campus. Remember to tune in soon to another edition of Live with the Beacon. I'm Cara Marie Joyce.